Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of the Warrior Daily this Wednesday, back on campus after a few snow days. I'm Cameron Weidenthaler, joined by men's basketball coach David Greer. Since we last talked, really a tough loss in overtime at Ashland. Um, dropped a Thursday's game to just a, a really hot shooting Walsh team and then rebounded pretty nicely with a, with a three-point win against Malone. Talk about your team's performance the last couple games. Well, really, it's been a tough stretch, uh, tough tough loss at uh, Ashland. Um, had an opportunity to win on uh, a couple occasions and, yep. and could convert there, but uh, I thought the guys uh, fought back. Ashland played a, a very good basketball game, had lost some really, really tough close games and uh, was able to come through there. Uh, um, Walsh was a really difficult game for us. Walsh is a very good basketball team. They shot the ball extremely well, and uh, we had something to do with that also. But you yeah. got to give Walsh a lot of credit. Uh, um, fought our way back in the game a little bit, got it to like 13, mm -hmm. second half, and then uh, we fouled a three-point shooter there and uh, sort of took the win ourselves a little bit. But uh, the guys rebounded on Saturday against a tough uh, Malone team, was coming off a big win uh, against Saginaw Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Thought we had the game under control there. Uh, again, never a dull moment. Uh, <laughs> so uh, down the stretch, we had some uh, uncharacteristic turnovers that made it a little closer than really what it was. Um, Jamar Raglan has, has come back to the team, and he's added to the rotation now, playing some solid minutes. Talk about what he brings. Obviously, rebounding is a huge thing that he adds to the table. Talk about his play of late. You know, Jamar's an energy player. You know, he's the kind of guy you want coming off your bench. Uh, really compliments uh, Gerald William Taylor. Uh, those guys, uh, when they get it going, they, uh, they're they a force to be reckoned with on the boards. And Gerald seems to be getting a little stronger, had a really yeah. strong game on Saturday. Uh, uh, still hasn't got all his explosiveness back. But Jamar uh, can affect the game in a number of different ways. Uh, he's a, a productive offensive player, uh, but really brings defense and rebounding mm -hmm. to the table. Specifically talking about the Malone game and the Walsh game, you guys got to get to the free throw line. That's something you, you guys, I'm sure, is a – is top of your priority list. Talk about, um, is that something you're talking to your team, getting to the line and, and drawing fouls and getting teams uh, on their heels a little bit? Well, usually when you look at, uh, you know, statistics that determine whether you win or lose, it, it's uh, the number of times you get to the free throw line. Yeah. And uh, obviously that uh, is twofold. You know, you get some free points and you also get, you know, their players in foul trouble. And it puts a lot of pressure on, on defenses when you can get to the free throw line via penetration or throwing the ball into the post. And now that Gerald's a little bit healthy and gets yeah. Jamar back, that allows us to throw it in the post a little bit and be a little bit more effective there. But certainly when you're talking about winning on the road, uh, you know, you got to be able to get to the free throw line. Speaking of the road, we got four straight road contests coming up. Talk about um, playing on the road um, in the GLIAC and then specifically preview uh, Hillsdale and a, and a really solid Finley team coming up. You know, it's a it's a, just a different mindset when you play on the road, and whenever you're talking about trying to compete for championships, uh, you know the road games determine really your champion yeah. because most good teams gonna defend home court for the most part. Uh, it's being able to go on the road and still a couple, uh, which is why Hillsdale is looking really impressive right now. They're coming off two big road wins at Grand Valley and Ferris, and they're playing as good as anybody in the league, and that'll be a tough task for us. And Always tough to go play at Finley, uh, one of the tougher places to play in the country. And but anytime you go on the road, uh, you know it's just what we talked about a little earlier: getting to the free throw line and uh, uh, get some free points, and uh, obviously limiting your turnovers. Yeah, Finley, solid program. Just dropped out of the top 25. Thanks for the time, Coach. Thank you. Be sure to log on to wsuathletics.com for all your preview information for men's basketball at Hillsdale tomorrow and at Finley on Saturday.